Good morning. I thought I'd start a new series where I go over some past DMs that I've gotten from people who follow me. Um, if for those who are watching for the first time, hello, my name is Kenneth. I'm a self-taught stock trader. I've been trading stocks for myself, by myself, in my pajamas for the last 13 years. Over the last few years, I've been on TikTok helping people um, learn how to trade for free. I don't charge a course. I don't charge for one-on-ones. I don't have a Discord. Uh, I don't want your money. I want you to invest it. And that's why recently I've started to kind of pivot my content more towards investing um, because trading was like the hot thing a few years ago and it's kind of cooled down a little bit. <clears throat> and now people really, most people shouldn't be stock traders, but almost everyone, everyone in my opinion should be an investor. That's why I've made the pivot. But <clears throat> I've been thinking some more about some of these DMs that I get. And I get a lot of DMs from people and they're usually like, I'm in my late 50s, in my 60s. I want to retire. I have no money. What do I do? I don't want to be the bearer of bad news. That's not why I started doing this. I started doing this to help people who were younger kind of realize like, so I use these stories. Unfortunately, I use these like real life horror stories to be like, look, you don't want to be, <clears throat> you don't want to be 67 and you have nothing. But I'm going to go back a little in time um, because this was one that I was thinking of when I was thinking about starting this series. So I got a DM on Instagram maybe two years ago from someone who follows me. And he said, hey, I'm in real trouble here. I need your help. I started, I, I had a good job or I had a good job. I quit my job, which you'll hear about. But I had a really good paying job and I had about $100,000 in uh, in a bank account. Not a rainy day fund. I have my rainy day fund, but um, I had $100,000 sitting in a bank account with the intention to do something with that money. I wasn't sure what, but something. All of a sudden, stock trading becomes really popular on Reddit and Wall Street Bets and TikTok and, and social media. And he decides that he's going to take that $100,000 and start trading it. He has no formal training. He has no idea how to trade stocks. He has no idea what he's doing. But he's watching these people make tons of money. And he's like, I'm going to I'm gonna use my 100000 bucks." So he takes the $100,000. Now, this is something I would have never done. But he trades with that $100,000 all in on one stock, which, you know, if you can afford to do it is great. You're swinging with a larger bat. Yes, you're going to have potentially much larger losses, but your profits will also be considerably larger as well. Um, still not something I would have ever been comfortable doing as a stock trader, but that's what he did. And he would put the whole 100000 into a trade and it would go up. He would have a 20% gain. Now he's sitting at $120,000. That's great. Then he would put that 120000 into a trade and it would go up 15% or 10% or whatever. And he was just constantly taking profits. And he was growing that $100,000 to $200,000 to $300,000 to 450000 And this guy, by some miracle, which he fully admitted, took, took um, $100,000 and within a very short period of time, turned it into $1 million. Now he has kids. He took that, he, he had that million dollars and he went and he applied for a, you know, got a mortgage for a much larger house and he was living the good life and he had fancy cars and all that stuff um, because he's basically um, betting that he's going to be very good at the stock trading thing for the, he's figured it out and he's a stock trading genius and he's going to live this life forever. He's just going to be trading stocks and making more and more and more money. Trading with a very large amount is great unless you don't have anything else in reserves. And then when you wipe yourself out, you're done. So basically what happened to this guy was he gets all the way up to a million dollars. He makes a trade. It's a bad trade. He panics. He was selling losses. He was taking losses at 7%. But something happened. He freaked out. He got nervous. It started to drop. He held. Because, you know, look, when you're trading with over a million dollars, um you know, a few percentage points is a lot of money. So he's probably looking at a 10% loss or a 7% loss and it's $70,000 to $100,000. And he's going, oh, I, I can't lose this much money. It'll come back, it'll come back. And it doesn't, and it keeps dropping. So he gets to a point where he has a 20% loss on his $1 million trade. So it's $200,000, gone. He's lost 20%, gone. He panics, he sells. He's now sitting at 800000 and he does something which a lot of traders uh, obviously caution against, which is revenge trading. So a lot of traders have different strategies in place. 
personally, when I hit a trade that's successful and it's enough money for me where I'm happy, I walk away for the day. So I can have very short days as a stock trader and I can have longer days as a, as a stock trader. But there are times where, you know, I'll wake, the market's open at 9.30, I make my first trade at 10.30 and I'm out by noon and my day is over. It's a very short day. There are other traders who say they have uh, three consecutive losses in a day. They'll throw their hands up and they'll say, no more trades for me today. Um, Cause they realize that what's about to happen is that they're, they're gonna abandon their strategies and their techniques and their training and all of that. And they're gonna start revenge trading and acting more with emotion. Um, you know, hope, just being reckless, getting into trades that they shouldn't because they have to make up what they lost and it's a bad strategy. And so a lot of traders kind of have these measures set up to protect themselves. This guy obviously didn't have that. He's down $200,000. He's got 800,000. He had a million. Now he's at 800,000. And he starts going like, well, I got to get back to my million. So he makes a reckless trade, drops even further, even further, more losses, more losses, more losses. Now he's panicking. He's making really stupid trades. He's just throwing everything he has into garbage. They're tanking. He's buying at the highs. They pull back a little. He sells. He panics. He's not that he even had strategy, but he's abandoning everything that he probably learned along the way, if he learned anything. And now, unfortunately, this guy is all the way back to his $100,000. He lost everything. He, he made a million dollars. He made 900, well, he made 900,000 and he lost it all. And that's when I get a DM from him going like, I need your help. So his offer to me is, I'm gonna send you my $100,000. You're gonna trade me back to a million bucks, um, which, you know, as a stock trader, income isn't guaranteed, right? Like just because you have a 20% trade one time doesn't mean you're gonna have 20% trades every time. I'm not gonna be able to go and mimic exactly what he did. Not only that, but I wouldn't have made trades like that. So, you know, if I have 100,000 and that's what I'm starting with as a new stock trader, I'm not trading with my full 100,000. What I would do is I would start with 10,000, get some experience, get some knowledge, learn what I'm doing. Maybe I build that 10,000 up to 15, 20,000, if I'm lucky, 30,000, whatever. And I've also got stashed aside 90,000 as a reserve in case I make mistakes, because I likely will. So let's say I start with 10,000. I have no idea what I'm doing. I lose that whole 10,000. That's okay. I've got another, I've got another 90,000 that I can dip into. I can take a little bit out, you know, and, and even, even, even then I'm not sure that's exactly what I would do if I was a new trader. I might even paper trade for a while, but things happen. You could get wiped out on a trade. I would have kept 90,000 in reserves just to build up some confidence, some knowledge. Even if I hadn't done that, <clears throat> If, if I was starting with 100,000, I would have hoped that at a certain point I would have said, oh my God, I'm up to $400,000 here. This is insane. I'm cashing out. I'm gonna take 300,000 and I'm gonna put it in, in my savings just temporarily, or I'm gonna put it in some really high quality investments and I'm gonna start over. I'm gonna start with another $100,000 and I'm gonna see if I can keep building and growing. Maybe you get up to another two or 300,000. You take that money out, you put it in your savings. This guy was throwing everything he had into one trade, which can be very lucrative if you have more money to dip into, which he didn't, or it can be really, really dangerous, which is what we're seeing happen to this guy. He's getting completely wiped out and he's desperate. And those kind of things make me really nervous for new traders because I see a lot of traders making these same mistakes, not paper trading, going all in on high risk, not really having a strategy or having a strategy, but being too inexperienced to stick with that strategy. So they get wrecked. Um, so I, I basically told this guy, no, <laughs> I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not licensed. He said, I don't care. You're really smart. I've watched your videos. You know what you're doing. It doesn't matter. He could have given me that, that 100,000 that he had. And I could have been on three really bad trades. And now he's down to 70, you know, anything could happen out there. Unfortunately for him, the, the experience you know, it's a rough, it's a rough way to learn a lesson, unfortunately. And it's probably something that he's never going to be able to replicate again. Um, especially if he's not taking the steps to learn and study and paper trade and practice and develop and hone a craft. When you're new to something and you get really lucky, it is so important that you take some of that money and you put it aside to do really important things, not stupid shit like this guy buying a fancy house, buying nice cars, uh, 
all on this gamble that he was going to keep, you know, be able to keep the stock trading thing up. Um, the larger message, by the way, is if you get lucky on anything, any stock trade, any crypto trade, to take the money out and invest it in something safe and practical and boring, which isn't what a lot of people want to hear. A lot of people want to hear, um, you know, I took $100,000 and I turned it into a million and now I'm a baller and now I trade with, you know, all this money at every time. But let this be a lesson to you that if you're inexperienced, you can get totally wrecked, totally wiped out like this poor guy who went from 100000 to a million to 100000 And at no point said, my God, I have $800,000 in here. Maybe I should start over. Maybe I should take 700000 out and start with 100000 again and build that up so I have my reserve, so I have cash that I can deploy to high-paying dividend stocks, to growth, uh, uh, you know, real estate investment trusts, to real estate income, you know, buying things that will continue to make him money. He did none of that. And it's, it's unlikely that he'll ever get back to that million again. So, you know, as fast as it comes, easy come, easy go for a lot of these people who don't really have any sort of uh, stopgap or measures there to protect what they've done because it's amazing. And he should have been happy um, that he was able to do something and capitalize on his inexperience. Oh, the markets are hot. I'm just going to copy these trades. Sitting there going, by the way, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh my God, I have $300,000. I'm taking some out. Oh my God, I have $500,000. I'm taking some out. Can you imagine having that much money, just dumb luck and not being like, I need to be really, really smart with this money. So let that be a lesson to you. <laughs> when you get lucky with something, whether whatever it is that you take some profits off the table, because you, you, maybe you become a stock trading god and maybe you don't. And then at least that way, you've reserved some money, more money than you had. He had 100,000. Now, if he had taken out half a million or 700,000, he would have had six or $700,000. That really sucks. So anyway, uh, I will see if I continue this series because I get DMs two, three times a week from people who are desperate and, and ask questions. And I don't want to share these videos to put them on blast and embarrass them. I want to share these videos uh, sort of as like learning experiences for other people who, who might hear this and go, oh man, I don't know if I had, if I had taken 100,000 and turned it into a million, I don't know if I would have taken money out too. I might have continued to roll it over. So I want it to be uh, a learning, um, I want people to learn from it. Um, and hear these other people's nightmare stories and go, oh, if, if that were to happen to me, now I know, now I should be smarter. So if you thought this video was helpful, you know what to do, hit all the buttons, subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a good day.